The objective of this lesson is to compare and contrast the properties of two-dimensional shapes and list the similarities and differences between them. In previous lessons, students learned how to describe shapes based on the shape's properties. Vocabulary words used were congruent, attribute, and properties. For review, if two shapes are congruent, they are identical in form, and properties and attributes are how a shape is described. A Venn diagram is used in this lesson to make it easier to compare and contrast the properties of shapes. Let's begin by comparing the two shapes, a square and a rectangle. The section in the middle is where the properties are written that are the same for both shapes. The parts of the circles on the outside of the centerpiece is where the properties are different. The space in the rectangle that surrounds the Venn diagram is where properties are written that don't belong to either shape. Let's say that someone gives us a list of properties that need to be sorted into the Venn diagram, comparing the square and the rectangle. Here is the list of properties. Obtuse angles, two pairs of opposite congruent sides, three sides, two pairs of parallel sides, four right angles, four sides, and four congruent sides. Let's start at the beginning of the list. Which shapes have obtuse angles? We can see that neither the square nor the rectangle have obtuse angles, and in fact, they both have right angles. Obtuse angles will be written outside the diagram, but inside the big rectangle surrounding the Venn diagram. Let's take care of four right angles by writing four right angles in the center. Two pairs of opposite congruent sides is the next one on the list. Look carefully at our shapes. Which shape has that property? Do they both have that property? Both the square and rectangle have that property. What about the property three sides? We can see that these shapes do not have three sides. So this property will be written under obtuse angles and we can check it off our list. The next property is two pairs of parallel sides. This property is common for both of the shapes so it will be written in the center section. So the next one is four sides. Both the square and rectangle have four sides, so that will be written in the center and checked off the list. The last one is four congruent sides. The square has this property, so four congruent sides will be written on the left side of the diagram and can be checked off the list. As students take time to compare and contrast 2D shapes, it will help them understand how pairs of shapes are similar or different because of their attributes or properties. The objective in this lesson was to compare and contrast the properties of two-dimensional shapes and list the similarities and differences between them. We met this objective by looking at two-dimensional shapes using a Venn diagram to show where they compare and where they contrast.